this is Jake of the Forge Hub Video Crew, and today I have something awesome for you. Today we have custom pickups in Halo 5. Custom pickups are the ability to pick up an item and place it somewhere else. So here we have our yellow looking pipe key thing. So we're gonna pick it up. Now we are going to place it up there to open this door. So by pressing this button and the door is open. So I'm going to show you how to make this in Forge. Alright, so here we are in Forge and let's get started. The first thing I want to let you know is that we're using an interactive invisible switch which can be good and bad in that it cannot be despawned because it's an invisible object that isn't visible when you're playing in the game. But at the same time it makes it so in this situation you don't see a switch when you want to grab the item. But at the same time it can be a little bit annoying because when we if we pick up the object the switch will still stay there so you'll still have the interact button even if you've already picked it up and that's kind of just nothing we can really do about that right now unless you use a regular switch but then you have to bury it in the object somewhere so that they can't see that and it would be hard to find like where to hold the at so to say um, so now with that out of the way let's start with this script the first interactive switch here needs to be have on interaction and it's going to send a message to alpha then our object whatever object you want picked up it can be any object like your guy could pick up a car you could pick up a vending machine it doesn't matter this is absolutely perfect for puzzle makers to allow them to pick up objects and add a more realistic realistic approach to their puzzles and stuff so this in this case i just use a cable and in here, the first thing you want to do is on, well, the only thing you want on this one is one script. And it's on message received, the channel is alpha, and the action is to despawn. So that will give the illusion of picking up the item because it will disappear off the ground and into your imaginary inventory, not basically. So now we're gonna do that, so we'll pick it up and that will spawn our switch. And sadly, for placing your object, you have to have a switch that is physical because otherwise they could just place the object without ever picking it up, which wouldn't make any sense. So with this keypad here, you have to have it st at the start of the game not being there. So the way I've got around it is that basically how the game, t like right now, when you try to despawn an object, a lot of times it will just delete it. <laughs> I had like out, out of four, just gone. So the way I've got around it is at the start of the game, instead of just doing on match start, do condition on timer and do like a really quick time. So the game, I guess, registers that the object's there, and doesn't delete it. And then it will then despawn your object with the despawn action. Then you're going to need a script that says on message received, channel alpha. The Then your switch will spawn. So. Once this switch yeah, activates it alpha, this switch spawns. So then we have a third script, which is on interaction, send a message to Bravo. And this is your output. This is what causes you to place down your item, which in this situation is our key that we're gonna place up there. But at the same time, you can allow that to, uh, you can either do it like how I'm doing with a key, which can like, then you can take the output to a door here and just have it move. Like I did on must receive Bravo move offset and had the door just move to open it. But you could just place down an item, like say place down a box and then use that to jump to a higher location, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities for this. So when we do this, it opens that and our piece gets put down. So our key here, the object that you're spawning in later, needs to have two scripts. The first script is on message received, bravo, spawn. So when the second switch is pressed, the new object spawns in. But then our second script is on timer, the initial delay, I just put the one second because this is, it needs to despawn at the start of the round. And then the action is to despawn and that will, des that, that will despawn our object and the first one will spawn our object. And that's how custom pickups work. Thank you all for watching. This has been Jake of the Forge Hub Video Crew. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.